Hello and welcome to my channel. My channel is dedicated to exposing watchtower lies, deception and corrupt. My name is Marcy and I was one of Jehovah's Witnesses for over 30 years. I served as a regular pioneer for 10 of those years. I was first contacted on the door-to-door -door ministry in 1987 and I finally left the organisation in 2022. This video is an expose video and we're going, I'm going to be talking about all things financial again and what the Watchtower is spending your contributions on. There's nothing like money for grabbing people's attention and um, some, when you're working hard and you're paying contributions to the Watchtower, I believe that you should know where your money's going. And I made a video exposing the Henrietta M. Riley Trust Fund and how they use this trust to buy and buy stocks on and shares on the stock market. And as through this trust, they have bought property in armaments, uh, it's, it's shares in armaments, in alcohol, in cigarettes, and in pharmaceutical companies such as Pfizer, which pushed the experimental health product and uh, the watchtower pushed that on us and that's what woke me up um, during the covid situation as i call it now i found out in my research to my uh, favorite youtuber jason zelda that the watchtower in america has a property company for very expensive real estate and um, he shows this website on his channel. So I wondered whether there would be anything like that in the UK. I never thought that there would be. But I went on another YouTuber's channel and posted a comment. And one of his subscribers messaged me and said, are you aware that the Watchtower has a property company in the United Kingdom called IBSA Properties. And so that was enough for me to start my research, uh, get my research hat on and start researching. And so what I did was I Googled IBSA Properties and it, it came up on, um, on my phone. And I'm going to show you where your money is going and what they're involved in. Now, I'm going to start by quoting a scripture. And I'm going to quote, this, the scripture is from the book of First Timothy, chapter 6 and verse 10. I'm reading today from the Gideon Bible and I'm also going to be using the Silver Sword New World Translation. Now it says here, 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 10. It's a very well-known scripture to Jehovah's Witnesses. It says, for the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. And we know what that scripture goes on to say. We don't need to read it all. I don't usually cherry pick scriptures, but on this case, that says everything that we need to see and understand for what we're doing today. So, what did I find out in my research? I'm gonna do what exactly I did and Google the IBSA property and it comes up and you it's in the top of the search and you can come and it comes up as this IBSA property dot com and then it says Ullswater and Buttermere Apartments can you see 
and it says a selection of luxurious and spacious apartments for sale and you can see at the bottom it says there welcome to ibsa property and then it says browse the selection of residential opportunities in north london can you see Look at the reflection Now, when I scroll down <clears throat> to the bottom, I'm just going to show you, it's, I'm still on the same page. I'm just going to scroll up. There it is, jw.org, other websites. So, yes, this is part of the Jehovah's Witness organisation corporation as i exposed earlier the watch that is a corporation or a series of corporations now i'm just going to go down to the about us bit there the about us can you see about us i'm going to read directly from here it says let's pop on my glasses ibsa london properties is part of IBSA or in brackets International Bible Students Association a registered charity acting on behalf of Jehovah's Witnesses in Britain and Ireland. For more information about Jehovah's Witnesses follow this link and that link takes you directly to jw.org so the watchtower as a london property real estate company it calls itself there a registered charity but there's not much charity going on in my opinion towards those in the organisation whose money they are using and making hand over fist. They're telling you not to be materialistic. They're telling you to keep your life free from the love of money at Hebrews 13 verse 5 but the watchtower loves money and the more money the better and they are shameless shameless in they don't even try to hide what they're doing. They don't even try to hide it. They've even advertising their own website to get you involved if you're not already with the Watchtower organisation and its money-making machine because uh, as I said Jehovah's Witnesses operate under different names many different names and um, The International Bible Students Association is the name it operates in under in the United Kingdom. It has names for property portfolios and companies all over the world under different names. I've told you, I showed you and uh, the badges that they had and I told you that they were a corporation, a business, and that's what they are. 
they are a business operating under a religious front. And they are using your money. The money that you donate to build kingdom halls that they're selling off as fast as they can. And they, you know, you believe that they're publishing, we used to think that they were publishing books and Bibles, but all these are available on their app. They don't even have to buy paper and ink anymore. Everything is digital now. As I said, I phoned my former Bible teacher up and asked her if she got a paper copy of the 1993 yearbook so I could show you a picture of the Eye of Horus centre they built with your money, by the way. And she said to me, oh, no, I've got rid of everything because the society directed us to get rid of all the old books and it's a lot easier doing it all online. But you can bet your bottom dollar that she is still paying out exactly the same amount in contributions as she always did. Because she believes she is supporting the work of God and his son, Jesus Christ. Well, I'm going to now quote a scripture of the Lord Jesus Christ about all of this. And what he had to say. I'm going to be quoting John 17 and verse 16. Well, I'm going to quote verse 40 first, 14, 15 and 16, because as I said, we don't cherry pick the scriptures. We may as well get the full understanding of what our Lord was talking about. At verse 14, it says, I have given your word to them. I'm quoting now from the silver sword. This is their Bible talking. I have given your word to them. But the world has hated them because they are no part of the world, just as I am no part of the world. I, I do not request that you take them out of the world, but that you watch over them because of the wicked one. They are no part of the world, just as I am no part of the world. So there, you have it twice for emphasis, our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, our Lord Jesus wouldn't get involved in the affairs of the world. He could have made a fortune with the miracles that he performed. He could have had money coming out of his ears everywhere. He remained no part of the world. He wasn't involved in making money. And neither were his disciples. They were simple men, simple people. And they had the love of the truth. And their whole life was centred around Jesus and obeying his teachings that the Watchtower Society is so far away from biblical Christianity it staggers the mind. Now my son left the Watchtower years ago as I've told you but he is interested in what, what the Watchtower is up to. And so I sent him this, uh, what I filmed on my phone, what I've just showed to you, the IBSA. And he came straight back to me 
as a worldly person as he is, as they call him, and said, it seems to me that it's been some time since they read the account of Jesus in the temple when he overturned the tables of those doing business in his father's house. Well, the Watchtower claims to be God's organisation. So they're taking money from people like you and me. And they are using it to do business without your permission. Now, this if they told you that they were doing this, if it said on JW Broadcast or JW.org that they were properties they were spending your money on, investing, and what have you, they could keep, they could convince you that that was right and scriptural and da da da, but no, they're not telling you what they're doing with your money. I'm telling you what they're doing with your money. And people like me. And they don't even bother to hide what they're doing. They have, they've got the audacity. They've got the brazenness to advertise JW.org on their business page. And you want to keep on handing your money over. I think that uh, my friend Karen Saunders, she's done um, a financial expose on her channel. And she says that all the ex-Jehovah's Witness community should get together and ask for a refund. Because we have not been told about this. We have not been asked about this. We handed over our money believing that it was going towards the work of God. But I don't see how this is the work of God. Or it can, even can be seen because they're not telling you about it. They're not telling you. And I tell you, I keep saying it, Stacking the evidence. This cannot be denied. It can't be denied. JW.org And if you want to know more about Jehovah's Witnesses, follow the link. I don't know what more evidence you people need. I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you know somebody who's a Jehovah's Witness, who's handing over their hard-earned cash to this organisation, then please share this video with them. Because it might be just the thing that wakes them up. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. And until the next time, I will say bye.